Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Um, today we're gonna be re uh, reacting to um, a video I Dubs did about the lottery, which I completely agree with, and I was saying that um, way before that the, it's a scam, like he points out. So we're gonna get started, and he's gonna show the main points in it. Oh shit! I'm coming down with a bit of uh, some some sort of throat thing. Mm. I don't think it's strep throat, but I think it's some sort of sickness. But anyway, the remedy that I've heard countless times is gargle with warm salt water. Mm. Welcome back to another episode of Ian Complaints. <laughs> Today I'm going to be complaining about the lottery. The lottery goes by many names. Mathematicians like to call it a tax on people who don't know how to do math. The lottery is mostly a tax on people who don't know math. Mm -hmm. And the reason they don't know math is because they're stupid. Mm -hmm. This video is meant to double down on those statements because I do think it's a tax on poor people, tax on stupid people. What I'm getting at is it's a way to manipulate yeah. the people who are very easily manipulated and take the money away from them from people who really need the money. I want to start by addressing the excuses people know. give it's for like why they contribute to the lottery. Uh, the first one video. is, I play it just for fun. Kids skip rope in the street for fun. People go to the movies and enjoy a two hour long experience because that was a fun thing to do. The lines in some places were hours That's long. Weird. Hours long. You're paying a fee to wait in a line Are you for kidding hours. Me? But of course, I mean, no it, one's that, gonna it's win. not that simple, right? It because wouldn't matter how if you many go on look at these other clips, these people are fucking... A big thing is, you, all the winners that they show on TV, most of it's just uh, some actor they paid to pretend they won, basically. So, no one, all those people standing there aren't going to friggin' win. There's no way. Be excited! <laughs> I'm yeah, right I'm wasting my money. My Yay! Pay off my mortgages. Like, look at their smiles. Just talking about the idea that they, yeah, what they would do, impossible. just imagining. It's what the lottery chairman loves to say. He loves to mm. say, you know, the yeah. great thing about the lottery is it allows people to dream. And of course, the great thing about buying a lottery That's ticket the is the dream ever. that it lets you have. How fucked of a concept is that? You're paying a fee to dream. You're, it's impossible to dream otherwise. The other excuse uh. is it isn't very much money. Well, if you look up the statistics on the average lottery consumer in the U.S., they spend an average of yeah. about $200 a year. If I asked this average lottery consumer, will you be okay with just giving me $200 at the start of the year and your odds of winning the lottery are exactly the same? Do you think they'd do it? They wouldn't do it because it, you're asking them for $200. Mm. The fact of the matter is you're still giving away $200 each year. Mm. You're just incrementally giving it away. Mm. I'm here to buy 5,535 Mega Millions tickets. What? Do you think that person's a, not going to win yeah, all that money down She won, range. guys? You think no. she won the jackpot? No. Huh? You think, no? You basically spend the max amount anyone would spend on lottery tickets. And it, it gets even That's worse insane. for you the more you spend. What, are you going to toil over these lottery tickets to see if any of the 5,000 yeah. you purchased won? People who contribute to the lottery think they're investing geniuses because really, mm. the risk is so low. Oh my but God. the return yeah. is so high. What better thing than better an off investment running and, and if, it, if it just goes away, it goes away. So it's okay. This is stocks. not an investment. Do not stocks call it that. Are better than Everyone that. watching this video right now, you are not going to ever win the lottery. Like I don't want to even give credence to the idea that... Like right now, Leafy's uh, buying stocks, and apparently he's making good money off stocks, so even that... Well, I don't know why people go, oh, I'd rather you know, pick you something you can't win. mathematician, they'd say, it's possible, but it's improbable. Don't use either of those <laughs> words when describing the lottery. You know, someone can tell me that it's very statistically improbable, Ian, that if you eat that moldy strawberry, <laughs> you're going to get a healthier gut. Oh, After man. listening to that, I'm going to eat the moldy strawberry every single time because in my world, I'm only envisioning a dimension where when I eat the moldy strawberry, my gut is very healthy and keeps me very resilient. So don't use the word improbable. Don't use the word possible. Neither one of those are accurate enough to describe your odds of winning the lottery. 
Mm. Impossible. Impossible are your odds. You should actually be embarrassed if someone finds out that you play the lottery. Really, it's a lot more shameful if someone finds out that you play the lottery rather than they find out that you're a furry. Because <laughs> as far as I'm concerned, furries have an IQ mm, yeah. 20 points higher than any lottery players. Uh, so you can take that to the bank, guys. Oh, and by the way, everyone seems to like to buy lottery tickets once the Mega Millions has reached a billion. <laughs> the yeah. Mega Millions is one billion like, dollars. One billion. Billion. Like they think their chances go up because the, the dollars. We say that up. one more time. One billion dollars, everybody. Yeah, billion. that no one yeah, wins, billion. but the billion actors billion they show on made. TV. One billion dollars. I want to now buy the quintessential quadrillions because now it's in the g g g g g g gorillions. Mm, yeah. The odds of you winning do not get higher the higher the amount goes. You're not going to win it. It's just as illogical for you to be as excited about Kylie Jenner's wealth reaching $10 billion. Mm. It has zero impact on you. You will not ever see any of that money, so why mm. are you getting excited that she's getting richer? I think the mm. main problem with the lottery is that our human brains yeah, are I not think wired I to comprehend something up in this how video impossible because you know his are lips of, aren't you know, going with him talking. If I tell you you have one in a trillion odds, your brain is actually going to calculate that as more around one in a thousand, one in ten thousand, because a trillion is like, what does that mm. even mean? So I'm trying to really figure out a way that you can convey the, it's pretty reasonable, then it zooms out, then it's like, well, fuck, this is not remotely re thing that will never happen to you, rather than the, the monsoon of failure mm. that surrounds it. You can't win if you don't play. Oh, you can't win gosh. it unless you're in it. So you can't win if you don't play. Because you can't win unless you play. You're all exactly. a bunch of retards. How many people have lost yeah. the lottery? <laughs> in these lottery commercials, they, they know they're manipulating the dumbest people on the planet. Yeah. So what do they like to do? They like to show you the dumbest thing that you could possibly do with your money. Like purchasing a massive skyscraper in the middle of downtown <laughs> New York with a oh jungle on top of it. Like what? I wouldn't even do that. The What's the movie. point of that? Super Lotto Plus from the California Lottery. That is the exact opposite thing that you should do if you were to ever win a large amount of money. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's what you should do. Have a portrait made of yourself. Like even you in Canada, they don't advertise also worth mentioning it that are all badly. The influencers who promote the lottery. You have, like, I Justine, I think she promoted, like, scratch-off tickets or some shit like that. Uh, Guy Fieri, I think, promoted the lottery. Another tactic these advertisements like to use is they like to make it as relatable as possible to the average person. Rick said he hadn't really planned on buying his Mega Millions tickets he until he noticed a spooky oh chain my of events. God. Everything he bought the day before the draw they, came out to just, even money. Like you have to be really he dumb to fall the for this stuff. at 3740 Iowa Avenue, his first time buying lottery tickets at that store. God. People are going to make these dog shit correlations about how, oh yeah. yeah, that one winner, he got it at a gas station. Yeah. Oh yeah, in fact, I think I know three winners who got it at a gas station. <laughs> it's like, yeah. That doesn't mean your odds are increased. They also like to manipulate by letting you know that uh, the lottery contributions go to education. But of course, education is a super vague word. What does yeah. that mean? Does it mean school supplies? Well, these promotional videos will make you believe that your money's going directly new books, paying the faculty, maybe you should bully your friends and family who, who, who purchased. Where's the one where it shows it like a religion a commercial? Wired to comprehend how it oh, no. has zero impact on you. Well, then it soon affects you. They li like to make it as relatable as possible to the average person. Oh, oh yeah, that in the California law. Uh, or it doesn't line up with your principles, then you. It punishes the poor. Yeah. Anyway, the guys, that was the reaction video. It's pretty stupid that some people think that, like, a lot of the times, and like, you think really anyone who wins this amount of money would want to be on TV and shown that they're friggin' that they're uh, got that much money? No, they're obviously actors or something. 
because if they were if any normal person wouldn't want to say they got 800 million there'd be people coming after them so anyway guys i hope you enjoyed the video thank you guys so much for all the support like and subscribe until next time peace out